Good evening. Here is the world news from BGI TV, Baba Bagini Imo TV. I am your spiritually moving the regular hour. First are the major headlines for the world news. Bees attack Mona at Alafin's palace. Breaking Alafin for your Obala Midi Ariyemi buried. Nigeria will be better with Igbo presidency on Neze. Ondo and CDC arrest eight for vandalism, illegal bunkering. Music executive denies threatening suspected cultists. Ondo police force attempted kidnap of nine passengers on Lagos Orre Expressway. To foreign, South Africa's deadly floors shine spotlight on housing crisis. Oshuala makes injury return as backup trash was born. Now the news in detail. Some residents of Oyo town who thronged the palace to mourn the death of the Alafi of Oyo, Obala Midi Adeyemi on Saturday were stoned by bees. This happened around 10 a.m. after Islamic clerics had arrived at the palace in preparation for the burial of Oba Adeyemi, who died on Friday night. Correspondent of that that to word of the attacking bees residents in the open space in the palace who were affected, flung tree branches and leaves to drive the unwanted creatures away. A policeman was one of the victims and some of the mourners assisted him to drive away the bees and remove some of the insects which got stuck in his uniform. Meanwhile, the Oyo State Governor, Shei Makide, on Saturday described the death of the Alafi of Oyo, His Imperial Majesty of Alamidi Adeyemi III, as a huge loss to the state, Nigeria, and the Yoruba race. Mark Inde, while describing Obadiyemi's death as a personal loss to him, said that he was an ever-supportive royal father and a worthy leader who spared nothing in trying to make Oyo State and Nigeria greater. The governor, in a statement by his chief press secretary, Mr. Taiwo Adisa, said, Kabyasi's words of advice and guidance were always golden and helpful. The last fear for your of the media, the military, has been laid to rest. Of our Adeyemi was buried in the Asian town of Oyo on Saturday. Adeyemi joined his ancestors on Friday at the Afeba Balola University Teaching Hospital at Doikiti. The remains of the last fear for your have since been taken to his palace earlier. Yusuf Ayola, the head of the Oyo Missy, had earlier disclosed that the late Alafi will be buried today. He said the necessary rite of passage has been performed. The Igbo Apex Social Cultural Organization, or Anese in the Igbo, has said that Nigeria will be better if any of the Igbo candidates from the South, East, and South, South succeed. The President, Major General Mohamed Buhari, retired in 2023. In a press statement issued by its Secretary General, Mazi Okechuku Isi Gozoro, the Igbo group stated that its members were very committed to Igbo aspirations for the presidency. Adding that the next leadership of our is the Indian Bowl, would also be coming from River State in 2025. The statement read, it became necessary for the Igbo to jettison artificial separation through boundary adjustment by the military and then reunite with our kit and kin in the Niger Delta region. So some security stories. The Ondo State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps on Friday said, it arrested eight members of a syndicate specialized in pipeline vandalism and illegal bunkering. It said that the suspects were arrested in all our community in the Odibo local government area of the state. According to a statement by the public relations officer, Mr. Daniel Aidemembo, in Akure, the state capital, the syndicate specializes in vandalism of petroleum pipelines, illegal bunkering activities, Dealings in illegal untreated petroleum products and operating illegal dump storage facilities in all our community. The command said all suspects would be charged to court at the end of the investigation. The Chief Executive Officer of OBIMZ Records and Properties, Abel Eberin, otherwise known as Abu Abel, has distanced himself from the report making the rounds on social media insinuating that he declared war against some alleged court members in the country. Abel, who spoke to Punch, said that every life was sacred to him and he did not support any form of violence. He said, every human life is sacred. 
I do not support any form of violence, and I do not have the capacity to perform the function of security agencies whose primary responsibility is to maintain law and order in the country. I acknowledge this misguided element who are working tirelessly to pitch me against some and let court members to desist from such irresponsible acts and find something worthwhile to do with the time for the betterment of society. Police protectives in Ondo State have followed the attempt to take nine passengers weekend on the Lagos or uh, Expressway by bandits. The time intervention of police detective following intelligence reportedly saved the passengers who were already being whisked into the thick forest by the kidnappers. However, one of the passengers was matched by the bandit and was rushed to the hospital by the police detective. Government attack for the police station. The state police command spokesperson, Fumi Odulami, who confirmed these in a statement in Akure, said that the passengers were rescued by the command's police rapid response squad. Odulami said on Friday, 22nd of April, 2022, at about 6.30 p.m., the police rapid response squad of the command who were on routine check on the highway received a distress call that some people were being whisked into the bush by people suspected to be kidnappers. With the joint effort of policemen attached to our division, all the victims were rescued while a victim who had a matched cord on the right finger was taken to a hospital for treatment. An Android phone belonging to one of the victims was also recovered in the bush. From that story, we'll go straight to the following story. Sulisi in Tobela once lived in an apartment, but when her rent went up 25%, the unemployed mother of five could no longer afford and move out. She found a piece of vacant land in Durban and put up a shack. That was five years ago and much cheaper than paying rent, which had gone up to 200 grand. That's why we moved here. We don't pay the rent. You just build your own house and you stay, she said. As was among the 87 homes, shacks made of corrugated iron that vanished in seconds when the ground over saturated with flood water crumbled at the informal settlement of Inkani and on ill top residential area of central Durban. I was so scared at that time. I was holding my baby. People were screaming, recalled a 31-year-old, carrying our youngest, an eight-month-old baby. From that story, we'll go to the final story, which is coming from the sports angle. Super Falcon striker Aziza Oshuala returned from an injury layoff in Barcelona Feminist Champions League semi final clash against Wolfsburg on Friday. A world record 91,648 crowd saw back a claim a massive 5 1 first leg victory at the Camp Nou, easing pressure on the second leg next week. The 27 year old was out of action due to a knee injury. She sustained in training ahead of Nigeria's Africa Women's Cup of Nations qualifying encounter against Ivory Coast in February. She came in as a 73rd minute substitute, coming in for Jennifer Omoso with the game at 4-1. That was the world news from BGI TV. Thank you for watching. But before we go, a quick recap of the headlines once again. Bees attack mourners at Alafi's palace. Breaking Alafi of your of Alamidi Adeyemi buried. 2023, Nigeria will be better with Igbo Presidency or Adnese. Ondo NSCDC arrest eight for vandalism, illegal bunkering. Music executive denies threatening suspected courtists. Ondo police force attempt to kidnap all nine passengers and Lagos or expressway. Foreign story South Africa's deadly flaws shine spotlights on housing crisis. Finally, sport. Oshuala makes injury return as back of trash walks ball. Thank you for watching. For more updates on our YouTube channel, the handle is Babagbagide Emo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell, selecting option all, for you to enjoy all of our updates. On Facebook, Bagide Emo with Alawiye Adibayo. Please like and follow the page for you to enjoy the updates as well. On Instagram, Bagide Emo underscore 22. For our placement of goods and services, coverage of events and function. The phone number streaming on your screen is a direct line to call strictly for advert placement. Thank you for watching once more. I am Maureen Revila Lawa. Good evening. Oh, na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist,
Just rise up. Just want to be GITV. Be GITV. Yeah, I want in the media.